the laureate in arts and philosophy, Mr. Cecil Taylor, commemorating the Kyoto Prize. Uh, Mr. Taylor is going to give us his performance. Before we have his performance, we will now introduce his profile. Please watch the screen. Mr. Cecil Taylor was born in New York, United States, in 1929. This is Mr. Taylor, shown on the right at the age of 11, when he was an active Boy Scout. As the only child in the family, he was raised by music-loving parents and was taught to play the piano by his mother. His family frequently took him to shows where he encountered jazz for the first time. In 1947, he was enrolled at the New England Conservatory in Boston. In the second year at the conservatory, however, he felt a sense of dis dissatisfaction with conventional music education and decided to create a new music of his own. On graduation from the conservatory, Mr. Taylor returned to New York and became a professional musician. At the same time that he played in swing bands, he continued to look for new playing styles. From the latter half of the 1950s and through the 1960s, Mr. Taylor devised innovative improvisations by departing from conventional jazz performance styles. This is Mr. Taylor's handwritten original scores. He uses alphabets instead of notes. He also introduced innovative styles in playing the piano. His unique music composition and percussive keystrokes using his palm. Mr. Taylor's improvisations widened the freedom of expression immensely and brought about new opportunities for jazz. Towards the end of 1950s, free jazz was born out of various experimentations in music. Mr. Taylor became a leader of the free jazz movement. Mr. Taylor played frequent sessions with European free improvisers and is also influencing music scenes of various countries. Mr. Taylor's artistic ex expression extends beyond the piano. He collaborated with dancers. He dances himself, recites original poetry, thus continuing to open new paths of creation that goes beyond the conventional image of a musician. This year, Mr. Taylor established the Cecil Taylor Foundation. He plans to find and support young musicians who are creative and highly motivated. Mr. Taylor gives the following advice to young people. Drive and passion. You have to believe in what you do, even when everyone else does not. Never quit and always keep it moving. Ever since 1973, Mr. Taylor has performed in Japan several times and has been a big influence on the Japanese jazz community as well. His impression of Kyoto is that of a beautiful city surrounded by mountains. In today's performance, there is going to be Mr. Min Tanaka, the dancer, as a collaborator. 
for Mr. Taylor. The two of them, ever since the 1980s, uh, have uh, been performing together in and out of Japan. Regarding this performance, in order for you to concentrate on the world uh, created by Mr. Taylor and Mr. Tanaka, there will be no simultaneous translation during the performance. I hope you can relish every moment of the Im improvised performance. Holy house. Double. Holy house. Holy house. house. House of the dual equinox. Dual equinox. Holy house. Holy house. Holy house. Sabi in me. So be in there. So be in there. It's a double house of I know, I know. A N U P A N U P. And up. Sarhar, Sarhar. Sarhar. An Abtu. Abtu designated as the double home. Devoted to a noob. All are children. All all are children of the infinity. An ongoing process that transcends, that transcends our most basic understanding of time. Time. They have a holy house of a holy holy house. Double. 
black was the way of truth. Eight holes Three modeled birds in the 30th century B.C. In A.D. 600, it became 60 centimeters long. Kalima. Kalima in West Mexico. The Tao, the Tao, the Tao he made, the Tao he made. The door of the first palace of the first palace. Purposely placed. in front in front of the gold golden water stream the gate had double black colonnades colonnades It was a flute in waves. Driving driving on a Stone, which became a wooden gong, a wooden gong. Deep on eyes, With glyphs bearing C A A D C A A D C A D and up yet. The glass wooden gun, the glass wooden gun. Became six centimeters long. The Aztecs invented the tax code of Mexico. The man born in Africa necessarily dark skinned do to the considerable force of ultraviolet violet radiation in the equatorial belt. As he moved toward the more temperate planets, this man gradually lost his pigmentation. 
by process of selection and adaptation. From this perspective, the appearance of Cro-Magnon man in Europe, from this perspective, Cro-Magnon man in Europe must be seen from this perspective. After 20,000 years, of adaptation and transformation, From the Grimaldian Negro, 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 in connection with the condition of the New Durham glaciation, therefore, Cro Magnum man did not. did not come from anywhere. He is a product of the mutation of the Grimaldian Negroid where he was found and no prehistorical archaeology has provided any other explanation, explanation for his appearance. Richard Leakey, Richard Leakey thinks that Homo erectus must have been dark-skinned. For reasons first indicated with a respect to the Grimaldian Negroid when he was found and no prehistoric archaeology has provided any other explanation for his appearance. That the skin, that the skin of his homo erectus must have been or become lighter, lighter. as he moved to the northern region. This even more true becomes the case of Homo sapiens, Homo sapiens. 
the tableau. The tableau. All is A fruit. The primal cafruti. The primal cafruti of Africa. The brotherhood of the Canary. Brotherhood of the Canary. Brotherhood of the Canary. Come here. Come here, me. Ah, boy. A B R O I, A B R O I, and canary. Back to the unity of the black race. Only time, only time, a fruit. Only time, only time, a fruit, a fruit, a primal fruit of Africa. Four cross, four cross, quarter day. Of the Whitsuntail, of the Whitsuntail, Lamas, Lamas, Martinez, Lamas, Lamas, Martinez, and Candling Wars. The most quarter days, ancient for gold, witnessed by rents, still paid on them, still paid on them, especially in Scotland. Marking of the solstice and equinoxes, now 300 behind the time. Lamas preserve the Egyptian ram. Measure or extent. Measure or extent. Determinate, determinative of Ren as measurer. Determinative of Ren as measurer of extent or extent. The charter for Exeter Lama's Fair. The charter for Exeter Lama's Fair perpetuated by the sign of an enormous globe which is stuffed and carried through the city on a long pole, decorated with flowers and ribbons. Dance. Dance. Fingers. Light strands. Limbs. Breasts. The breasts upon seas. <clears throat> Beneath and above the earth and sky. That which is round, slanted, and vertical, enclosed as a circular parallel squared, a circumference. There is darkness. Tears upon limbs of trees. That which is round, slanted, vertical, shadow.
Remembrances. Scorpio, first love. Dad's first dog, named the baby. First session of a piano, 112, 23, 13th Avenue, 112, 23, 13th Avenue. Arneda, Arneda, Arneda. Call, name, T. Sphinx. First drum. First drum. The tap dance. First song. First player. Bill Ragland, first loves Joseph Arthur. Ruby Cream, Sadie Arthur, Peggy.
Dr. Cecil Taylor and Mr. Min Tanaka. Thank you very much indeed.